welcome back to live the studio so we just got cut off ran out of uh, memory on the uh, computer right during the big t weasel segment i mean we were putting over t weasel having some hot conversations about lucky sandlin and his new career with the boy scouts crossroads gym on fire and it actually ended up just perfect timing because it was about an hour. That's usually what we do. And now we're getting ready for that segment that everybody loves from coast to coast. What is what, what was that saying? Nick used to say it, coast to coast. Something. You know that saying? No. Okay. Uh, everybody loves this segment. It is going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. Five photos from Rip's phone. So Rip has 12,892 photos on his phone. So each week we pick five photos from his phone. He retakes the picture a bunch of times. So the, uh, you know, the clarity on these aren't, aren't the best because they've been taken over and over and over again. Rip right now is taking notes. He does a lot of notes for the show. Likes to get everything. Well, if not, you don't know which one's playing Likes because we're get... just doing it and they're not showing the picture, right? Well, I go through and find it every time. Like, I've never matched up the wrong picture with the wrong thing. Okay. So what are we doing now? Number one, Picture number one? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are on picture number Wait a minute. one. Numero uno. So I, what I do, send it to you or what? Well, you don't have to send it to me. You can send it to me later, but you can send it now if you want. I just figured once we were done filming, you could just send it to me and... Instead of taking all the time right now, right during the middle of this broadcast, but you can... No, no, I want to do it now. Fuck you. I mean, you can do it when we're done. Like oh, just okay. To picture number one. Okay, so I was, now I'm going to say what's on there, right? <laughs> oh, here's a picture of Dr. Tom and me and uh, James E. Cornett and... Tom Pritchard. Charlotte, North Carolina. And they got this big uh, convention, extravaganza, matches, seminars, etc. Blah blah blah. We're doing a a Q and A, a question and answer uh, thing. And I got my Hustler Rip Rogers T-shirt that you can get from Pro Wrestling Tees. And Cornette just happened to have his T-shirt on that you could get from Pro Wrestling Tees too. And Doctor Tom, he didn't have his T-shirt with him, but we was bullshitting and have a good time and and uh, answering uh, a lot of fucking questions. A lot of them were sort of sarcastic answers, facetious, surely not, whatever. With all the yeah. fucking uh, the queen, the Queen's Park. I'm sitting on the fucking thing. All the lights going uh, out. The, the, the Queen, the Queen's Parkers, you know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, the Marks. Queen Park, Mark. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So Queen. was this a, like a live Q&A deal or what? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that was a picture of that. So that's picture number one. Wait a second. Tom Pritchard. How did, how did the Pritchards get in so well into wrestling? Like Bruce, I think still like Vince's. He got fired for, right for a while. Man. Now he's back in. Bruce, right? Yeah, but they worked in the office. Tommy was a young boy and his brother worked in Paul Bosch's office in Houston. And Houston at one time was one of the best wrestling cities in the goddamn world. Uh, they could draw nine, ten thousand people on a Friday fucking night. It was it was one of Watts's most consistent fucking towns. So they just always around the business. I mean, Bruce, yeah. Bruce never wrestled, right? No, uh-uh. he was that um, what you would call it that uh, brother love. Yeah, mm-hmm. for a while, but mm-hmm. but he was still just in, always in somehow, even though he wasn't yeah. really a. A wrestler, huh? No, he was just a, a assistant booker, office guy. Need to ref, need to time keep, need to fucking announce, whatever. Around it, he, he might have worked some when he started. I have no idea. Tom was uh, he was OVW for a while. I remember he trained us or me, my class. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was one of the times he got fired. I don't know. Uh, a lot of times he'd come down and uh, stay with Danny. Yeah. Because uh, when I was teaching there, he was my boss. And I'd have to fax him what I do every day. Oh, Tom? Yeah. Like Tom? Yeah, he was the boss. So, who knows? APOC loved him. I know that he was one of, APOC was really liked him, one yeah. of the guys that, that he liked. Yeah, so. Tom was one of the nicest guys in wrestling. And cool. he was like best friends with Brad Armstrong. So oh, really? That would help. Yeah, I mean, no, I, no, I meant that was, that's the kind of guys they were. Yeah. You know, they just have a fucking good time, good fucking matches. Tommy would always be rolling his eyes and hardly saying a word, scratching his head, and then, <laughs> and all, and then he'd get, he'd have a slow burn. He'd be mad about something. It's usually some some girl at home, you know, saying no oh, shit. Everybody else in the life in the world goes hating that bitch, you know. <laughs> but what the fuck, right? 
Picture. Picture number two. Number two, ladies and gentlemen. What we're doing, now this is a picture here at the, the world famous Monster Factory. Monster Factory. Uh, uh, with Danny Cage. Danny Cage. There's a picture of me, uh, Danny, and the Blue Meanie. Blue Meanie, baby. And uh, we're doing a question and answer thing there. I've been to a couple seminars there. Uh, for Danny, we get along good. And uh, it's always a hell of a time there. But the Monster Factory, a lot of guys come out of that place. Uh, hell, Buddy Rogers. I think he was the first owner of the Monster Factory. Oh, really? I yeah. didn't know that. It was him before the guy the, the, the guy that Danny went through there with. And Danny bought it from I'm trying to think of the guy. God, he's a guy that trained King Kong fucking Bundy. And had the blonde hair. Larry, uh, God damn it, what was his name? He was from Jersey. Larry the X hitting? No, no, no. That was, uh, <laughs> it'll it'll hit me when I ain't trying to hit it. Larry, Larry Sharp. Was, yeah, that was it. He Larry Sharp. Gone. The guy that wore the gimmick. No, that was Mike Sharp. Oh yeah, it was Larry Sharp. That's was what it? it was. Yeah, Larry Sharp. Hmm. No, Mike Sharp was the uh, Iron. Was, was Ben Sharp's son. Ben Sharp was a Canadian guy. Hmm. Mike was a Canadian guy. Mike was a he had the OCD like me, and he would be fucking. He was a, he had a clean freak. He'd take a fucking shower for two hours and shit. And he was, oh, he was just meticulous in everything. Always wore the black. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I worked with him 20 minutes one night. We did the thing. And he had to do the fucking wristband or whatever the fuck it was. But I went and got the gimmick. But he did that. And I didn't see it. And he got me first. So he won. He was always a killer like in uh, Memphis or somewhere yeah. else. And he'd get the WWE and never win a match. Yeah, but he, won, like, but he made more money. I was like, huh, yeah. He made more money. <laughs> where's the where's this at? Is that in Jersey? Monster Factory? Uh, yeah, uh, Paul, Paulsbury, yeah, Hank, yeah, Paulsbury, New Jersey. But, Still in business, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Check out the Monster Factory. Yeah. Picture. Picture number. Trace. Trace, number three. New, oh, okay, now. Oh, this is a repeat. Don't tell Rip. Is it a repeat? It's a repeat. Okay, then I won't do it. We'll just do another one then. We'll just do four pictures. No, I'll, <laughs> I'll pull another one in. Okay, here's a picture of my fat ass. Since I played, since I was a high school football coach, this is here I am in the seventh grade. Oh, so, okay. Who's the little kid? That's my. That's. I thought that's little brother Brett. Oh, isn't that yeah. awesome? Uh huh. And uh, I'm your about 140 pound lard ass. That is awesome. Fullback, right? Probably the only picture ever taken. Of, you ever seen those pictures of Andy Reid when he was played as a kid? He was like eight times bigger than everybody. That that reminds me of the. But but it would be like if they were the same age, right? And uh -huh. they got the, the old pictures of Andy Reid, and the, and they'd be the same age, and that's what he would look like with the like with all the other kids. It was awesome. Oh, it'd be like when the pictures of Andre the Giant when he's like sixteen with all the other sixteen yeah. year old, and they're coming up to his goddamn elbow. So what what the, um what football team would that be on then? Well, Middle it was Shields Junior High School. Oh, okay. Seventh and eighth grade team. Shields Junior High School. Yeah. Well, St. Ambrose didn't have any football, did they? At no, that time? so no, so. But they, they had, did when I played fifth and sixth grade. No, we had the all St. Ambrose backfield. Oh, really? Yeah, it was uh, me, Tim Hinkle, and Woman Barley, and then Rod, uh, Rob Hertz was the center. So we had all the two running backs, the quarterback, and the center were all from St. Ambrose. Wow. So we'd have to go down to Emerson Field after school each day and go to practice and everything. Memories don't get any memories. Better than, Good story. It, it don't get any better than that. That it? was picture two or three or something. I don't even know. Yeah, whatever. We got we got notes oh, here. Well, though, I got to so. sa I got to save that for last. Save right? that for last. We okay, need, uh, so we need another picture, don't we? Holy shit! We need another picture. <sighs> okay, this out of the fucking blue. I don't want that. I oh, just do, the, do that one. Which one? The, well, yeah, we already talked about. Yeah, it. we already yeah. talked about that. Yeah, we already did that. Oh, he did this, that, picture, picture. Uh, see that. Oh, here's a picture. Yeah, that fits what okay. we talked about today. Now, we got a picture of this is me at the gym and uh, uh, the fat guy with hot dogs on his <laughs> neck. <laughs> Looks like a, a Mexicano. That's Manny the Weasel Valverde, <laughs> Seymour legend. And uh, he was asking me my thoughts today when Pat was in his match with WrestleMania. If he thought I was, if he was going to win or lose, well, time to watch the show. My thoughts. Uh huh. He'll know the prediction. Uh, but as the, I get this out next week. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got a weasel. Got to watch when he gets a haircut because he might cut that fat on them hot dogs on his back of his neck there. 
but uh, we're posing a gym. I'm just shooting a, shooting a little by, and, and the weasel, he's giving us the most muscular, which is impossible, so... Uh, T. Weasel is a like a professional poker player now, I think, isn't he? Oh, he's a professional lover, too. Oh, is he? Latin oh, lover? He, yeah, No, he's not Latin. He's a Mexicano, oh. you know. Okay. I thought he was a uh, pro poker player. He had, I think, the double knee surgery, so... Oh, yeah, uh, he, told get, me, he told me he was crying, he was in pain, whatever, blah, blah, get blah. Well, soon, T. Weasel, obviously, Rip, you know, he's got some uh, sympathy for you. Blah, <laughs> fucking blah, none. Blah. No, it's just fucking karma <laughs> for him being an asshole all the time. Get fucking real. Was he? I never knew. Oh, I my God. I thought he was a nice guy. Oh, no, no, he's a nice guy because uh, he... Yeah, uh, did you? He ever, had to be. Did you know his sisters at all? No, you didn't. No, because they, cause they uh, had they had Carla, all that Carla and they uh, had all the they had all the Valverdes, but there was like I was so much older than them, so I might have been like uh, senior in high school, and they're all like the first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade or something like that. Carla and um, I think the other one was even hotter. They used to babysit for us. Oh, and and one of them dated. David Moore, maybe Boat. Remember? Boat? Oh yeah, Boat. Yeah. Oh, he was good buddies with my brother. I think I could be wrong on that. Could make I could totally be making that up, but I feel like because Boat lived over by Jackson School at that time, right? Now, who was he related to? I always liked him. He used to referee a lot of our manual games. Well, uh, well he was John Moore's son. John Moore sold in insurance. Insurance. Uh-huh. Okay. And he was. Uh, uh, I always heard he played minor league baseball. I don't know if he did or not. I don't know. Did he play basketball in high school? Yeah. I thought he did. Uh-huh. Renee Valverde. Well, Carla and, man, I can't remember the other one. But, yeah, the Valverde sisters used to babysit. And I want to say did that. Did you sneak off in the bath? Did they babysit for you? Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. How old, how old were I don't you? Know. I was little. I was young. But they well, were, what do you think? I don't know. If it's fourth grade. I really don't know. So you don't really know. I'll ask the king. You haven't discovered your worm yet. No, so you not, didn't sneak off in the bathroom for not 30 so seconds. much. But I'll I'll ask the king. They were, they were over with me. Those babysitters. I'll tell you that much. Okay. All right. So now let's get to uh, the, the 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 big finale here. The finale right here. Got to get it to the. Um, I got to get it back to the the, the finale. The the grand finale. Picture number five. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get it. As here. soon as Rip figures uh, out how to get back to yeah, it. Yeah, I got to get back where it was. Could just. Hit the hit that back arrow button there. What arrow? Maybe try that. That's what I was trying to get it back get where back. it was. Went it down here at the bottom because uh-huh. you took it, right? Yeah. There you right go. Right there. Okay. So I read on the internet here. It's this also- is not a real picture picture, but it's a screenshot of something that's floating around there on the internet. Yeah. As a, it's it's called Rip Rogers' salary. Oh, this and should this be interesting. Is, yeah. It says, as head trainer for OVW, Rip has been training for... Over 30 wrestlers who appeared in WWE. Oh, oh hell. And it, it's true, over 30. Yeah. yeah, That's true. Fucking oh, oh, between 60 and 70 that made it that it wasn't even on contract to begin with. But that's over 30, though. Yeah, as well as, so well as Impact Wrestling. <laughs> so, His trainees include John Cena, Pat McAfee. Oh, they, they got Pat in there. Yeah. Brock Lesnar, Dave Batista, Randy Orton, Mark Henry. And, hey, hey, did you know I had a, an average salary of four? 400- Hold on, don't give it to him yet. Listen, this is Rip's average salary. One of the richest people I now officially know. Yeah. What, what was it, Rip? It says I made uh, my average salary is four hundred sixty-four thousand dollars, five hundred four hundred sixty-four thousand five hundred seventy-eight dollars per year. Yeah. God damn, I should have been buying all this time. You are awesome, Rip. That is, you are rich. God damn, I didn't even know it. it seems it like you could get a new T-shirt. That's what you wore last week. Well, I, seems I, like 2011. Well, this, well, this is the T-shirt you gave me. <laughs> I did not. That's got to be from Richie. I don't have that. Oh. I didn't play in the alumni game. We talked about this already. I didn't play in it. It's not from me. Oh, But I would say if you're making $464,000 on the average, yeah. then uh, you should be able to get yourself a new T-shirt. Well, I learned even more today that when you googled my name, it don't have my. It didn't have my right name. It didn't have my my rate my right age. And we also know it sure as hell don't have my uh, uh, right salary. So you're denying that you made that much money, with. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yes. It was. Was it more than that or less? Oh, it was way, way, way. <laughs> I answered, this, this is a hell of a rib. I'm looking at the goddamn dollar menu, right? <laughs> but somebody said, "Hey, look at this." I said, "Let me see that." I said, uh, a little, little bit off there, but what the fuck, yeah. right? Well, 
There you have it, folks. If that it was, ain't over, act like it, right? That's right. Act like you, Rich. That was five photos from Rip's phone. I mean, that's five. The, the, the greatest thing five. that we ever do. Five. Five. Uno dos. Hey, and, and tell us Trace. who... Trace... Hey, who who looked at my Instagram pictures today? J.J. Dillon. That's right, J.J. Dillon. James J. Dillon. Yeah. Checking out Rip on Instagram. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I feel like this show was probably worse than our last ones. I think we get worse and worse every time. No, it, it, it seems really horrible. And then when you watch <laughs> them back, it ain't. Because I carry it? You think? Yeah, I, I think that's it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think it was pretty bad, but maybe we'll watch it back. I don't know. Could be, could be decent. Well, the, no, the show's better than the goddamn matches I've seen. Well, we don't slap our fucking legs and I go not, and go at every fucking kick out is two point fucking nine. That's what we should start doing. Every time you show a picture, we should make uh, crazy faces and we should do a bunch of slaps. Uh huh. Yeah, we we can start mixing that in. Uh huh. Get more with the the people, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I have no idea what we talked about today. We had zero notes. We didn't have many questions. You don't answer a lot of questions anyway. Um, I don't know. You got, any, you got anything before we start plugging we, our shit? We didn't even know what time. Well, I need to plug my fucking Twitter thing, Hustler2754. There you go. Follow us on TikTok. Uh, just look up Live the Studios or something, Rip Rogers. We're on TikTok, baby. We're blowing up on TikTok. We got one video with like 32,000 views. So give us a, a follow on TikTok, YouTube, uh, the Lila Studio or uh, Lila Studios, and then with or featuring one of those Hustle Rip Rogers. Hit that subscribe button. And smash. Smash. You sure they don't say smash the subscribe button? No, uh uh-uh. uh. It's always smash the like button. I would much rather them smash the subscribe button. I just want them to subscribe to it lightly so you don't, so it clicks on there and don't unsubscribe if you hit it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah thanks for Maybe watching. Maybe that's what's happened. People hit it too hard and it yeah. unsubscribes. Yeah. Hey, if you're just sitting around doing nothing, just go to one of our videos and just let it play all the way through. Just hit the, hit just the play button. I mean, I, you can put it on mute if you want to. Yeah, I don't care if you it, watch it. Just yeah, just let, it, let it play all the way through so we can get our watch hours up. Uh-huh. Um, we'll book? Be, you got any books left? I got four left at home. Still four? It's on fire. You said four for the last two weeks. I ordered I ordered some more, though. Just in case somebody bought one of the four? Well, I got a, I got places to go. To, oh, to really? Oh, okay. oh, I forgot. Fuck. I'm going to be in the fucking big... The convention they got in Indianapolis. When's that? Well, it's the... Uh, Friday and what was it? Let me see. Big convention news. Rip, Rip's going to be in a convention in uh, Indianapolis. Fifteenth and the sixteenth at the West Wind. Fucking whatever. Something out by the goddamn airport. Is that April? Yeah. Uh huh. April fifteenth and sixteenth. Somewhere and 16th. by the GD airport. Yeah, <laughs> the goddamn airport. Yeah, there you go. And there'll be all the top stars there. I know the Steiners are supposed to be there. Ooh. They're recently fucking uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. Hall of Famers will be there. Uh, the Steiners will be there. And so, anyway, I just fucking remember that right fucking now. And I can I can't remember. And email us at the Lila Studios at gmail dot com. So probably by the time this fucking airs, it'll be over. With. We don't really have a big finish. Never do. We're Thanks not- for joining. Thanks for watching. Fake TikTok. TikTok. Special shout out to T Weasel. <laughs> Hope cut, you get better. Cut them hot dogs um, on your neck. Hopefully Scott Sandlin does a great job with the Boy Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts of America. (laughs) Good rib that is, Lucky. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. So swole that I can't get this shit closed.